Chapter 1. Transgender people should be given freedom of expression. Trans people may be different, but they want acceptance and justice like everyone else. They are people who can do well and reach the peak of their careers in any society if liberated. Unfortunately, due to the numerous attacks they have faced, trans people often make the mistake of seeking equality when they should seek justice for themselves and others like them. All over the world, trans people have been rejected, trampled upon, and terrorized. For instance, the political needs of trans people are ignored, and their issue is seen as a toxic debate. Until society is transformed, this will continue. This summary exposes the level of victimization that trans people have to face and the problems arising from it. You will get to know the solution to these problems and how to treat trans people better. Trans people who read this summary will realize that they can attain full control over their bodies, enjoy general health care, and live freely like other human beings if they use their voices for each other. Although having transgender people amongst us in society has brought about different schools of thought, this summary shows that being trans is not a taboo. There's a need to reduce and ultimately end threats against transgender people. Keep in mind, trans people have always had to hide their identity from society for fear of being judged. This ought to stop, and it starts with speaking out. This summary also describes the discrimination trans people face, from trying to get jobs to the challenges in the workplace and everything in between. Finally, this summary hopes to change the current narrative about trans people, from discussions about condemnation and identity struggle to the start of something healthier. Discrimination and violence against trans people aren't always interpersonal. Sean Fay Did you know, the term two-spirit describes people who identify as having both masculine and feminine spirits in one body. Chapter 2 We all don't have the same sexual tendencies. And that's okay. Trans is a general term that describes people uncomfortable with their natural gender. They are either males at birth and understand themselves as females, or females at birth but prefer to identify as males. For people like this, their biological sex based on the appearance of their external genitalia differs from what they want to be. Generally, trans people believe that the standardized relationship between a person's genitalia at birth and how they want to feel about their sexuality shouldn't be forced or stereotyped. Remember, trans is a more scientifically advanced way of thinking about gender differences. Trans culture also believes that there are different ways of seeing the human genitals, reproduction roles, and social representation. For some people, their reproduction role is the same as the social representation they want. But for others, it isn't quite so, and society should learn to accept that instead of being rigid and forceful. Not all trans people find the surgery for moving between genders desirable. Still, they are satisfied to challenge the idea that the genitals they are born with should determine their psychological framework. You've probably heard of LGBTQ+, and wondered if it means the same thing as transgender. Not quite so. LGBTQ+, is a term formed to represent the political cooperation between queers, homosexuals, bisexual people, and trans people. The opposite of trans is cis, that is, cisgender. These are people who are satisfied with their natural genitals, although you can bet that not everyone who identifies as cisgender is truly satisfied. Some are afraid to acknowledge their uniqueness or sexuality, so they blend in instead. Did you know, third gender cultures exist in Mexico and amongst the hijras of India? Chapter 3. The media portrays transgender people as unwanted. Trans people commit suicide more often than the rest of the population, and the rate has increased because most suffer secretly. They struggle with challenges due to their ideology of sexual orientation and its difference from the norm. The story of Lucy Meadows, a woman who transitioned after battling with her gender for years and continued teaching in the same school, is a good example. Lucy Meadows was fine when she didn't publicly showcase her sexual orientation but she faced harassment and criticism when she decided to make her transition known. It affected her mental health to the point that she committed suicide in 2013. In different parts of the world today, trans people still face public rejection and attack. For instance, the 2019 election campaign of the UK Democrat leader, Joe Swinson, was slandered in the media for her constant support of trans people. 
Britain is one country that always has controversial conversations about transgender people. There was a time in 2018 when trans people were attacked on a televised live debate on the transgender issue. The British media was labeled an organization that often talks badly about trans people. The media, in defense, said that they seem to be against trans people on air because the transgender factor can influence the public negatively. Rather than debates for or against transgender people, the media coverage of the trans community must show a genuine desire to expose the challenges this group of people faces and how this affects their entire life. Keep in mind, trans people not only face media betrayal and rejection, but they also suffer from inadequate health care, mental health issues, family rejection, bullying, unemployment, and dehumanization. Transgender people represent 1% of society. They lack support because human beings generally are only interested in others when they are familiar with them. Cis people need to recognize the inequalities endured by minority groups so that a new conversation can remove the estrangements. If society cannot make space for both the trans and the cisgender population, then more challenges will keep arising. Did you know, a 2017 study by the UK charity organization Stonewall revealed that 45% of trans people had attempted suicide. Chapter 4. Trans Children Face More Rejection and Agony Growing Up The number of children uncomfortable with their birth gender and coming out to declare this has increased in recent years. As early as three years old, some trans children begin to assert their gender identity to their parents. However, many of these children have had to experience frustration and discrimination in their homes. Parents or guardians try to cure these children, forgetting that being transgender cannot be cured. Writer Matthew Todd describes that parents' non-acceptance of their LGBTQ plus kids' differences usually results in shame, which continues as they grow. Some parents do not know how to help their trans children, which is a big problem. According to the National Institute of Economic and Social Research, the knowledge that parents require to handle transgender issues in their kids is inadequate or even absent. Trans children also face challenges when they go to school. They are segregated and become vulnerable to sexual abuse. Many of them get banned from expressing their trans identity, making them live uncomfortably. Remember, trans children are often made to go through conversion therapy a harmful scientific make-believe practice that attempts to change a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. Young trans children suffer from many misconceptions. Sometimes they are even described as villains. Contrary to what the media wants people to believe, no young trans child can undergo genital surgery before they clock 18 in the UK. The only transition many of them ever make before 18 is social, changing names, clothes, and the use of pronouns. Trans children are made to look like they are a tremendous sexual risk to other children. More horrifying is that trans children are significantly susceptible to violence and attack. To help trans children, we must first understand that attempts to make them stop expressing their desired identity can cause them harm. Parents should fulfill their responsibilities by providing love and care for their children instead of trying to change them. Did you know? LGBTQ plus research conducted in 2017 by UK charity organization Stonewall revealed that over 64% of trans school children had been bullied for being trans. Chapter 5. Sex selling is unsafe, yet rampant among trans people. For a long time, trans sex workers have been selling sexual services hush-hush. Unfortunately, many adult trans people are still in this trade. Don't forget. Trans women of color often engage in sex work more than their white counterparts. For instance, in Britain, trans people make up over 4% of sex workers. The market is greatly booming, with the primary consumers of these markets being the heterosexual identified men, who also watch a lot of porn. As evidence of this, Pornhub has said that the transgender porn category is the most searched. Most trans sex workers are trans women, and as trans porn thrives, transgender people are seen more as sex objects. Despite the vast consumption of trans sex, it doesn't reduce trans people's prejudice in society. For instance, in August 2018, the news reported that Alex Jones, founder of InfoWars, also known for his frequent transphobic rants on Twitter, was caught watching trans porn. Jones later denied it after he was accused of hypocrisy. 
Many men like Jones who purchased the service of trans sex workers in secret may still go back to speak against trans people publicly. This is partly why trans sex workers make up a large percentage of trans murder victims globally. The people who patronize their services are two-faced and can do anything to silence them. In the UK, where the percentage of murder is low, three out of eight homicides involve trans sex workers. These victims are often transgender women. The mortality rate was so high at some point that British LGBTQ plus communities and organizations have set aside the 20th of November every year to celebrate the remembrance of trans people lost to violence around the world. The continuous experience of rejection and homelessness and the struggle for employment, healthcare costs, and several unpaid bills make many trans people become sex workers. Sex work can also provide these people a sense of belonging and family. According to a survey on trans sex workers in five countries, over 70% of those engaged in sex work did it to earn a living. Decriminalization is a way to reduce harm amongst trans sex workers, sex worker groups, feminists, and other LGBTQ plus organizations. Sean Fay According to Sean Fay, trans sex worker rights and safety must be reenacted to ensure they enjoy complete freedom. Chapter 6 the state secretly harbors a bias against trans people. There has been a long history of state violence and suppression of trans people. For instance, there was a ban on trans people in the American military for several years. Barack Obama lifted the ban in 2016 when he became the president. However, President Donald Trump enacted it in his first two weeks in office. Also, the healthcare system for trans people has become worse. Trump's administration argued that the government was spending too much on the health care of trans people, and they were less capable of military service than other U.S. citizens, hence their ban. Remember, singling out trans people from military service is unpatriotic, but it has been done in many parts of the world, including the U.S. The continuous liberal advocacy by trans people then focused on the importance of diversity and inclusion within the military system. In depicting that trans healthcare is expensive and unworthy of state support, the government made transgender people appear a disadvantage to the state and a liability. However, a new American president, Joe Biden, has lifted this ban, encouraging a culture of inclusion. A state must support its people, whether they are trans or not. But transgender people have continued to struggle to achieve inclusion in the community. The sad reality is that trans people are often expected to align themselves to fit society's way. But to what extent? Do trans people truly present any challenge to lawmakers? Why then does the state attempt to constantly create, define, and control the boundaries of what it means to be a trans? Contrary to the UK's Gender Recognition Act, which allows people to change their gender, many individuals in different parts of the world still battle for full freedom to change their gender on legal documents. Trans people are oppressed to the extent that if there is any evidence that a trans person committed a crime, they will suffer more than the typical sentence. Trans people have continued to experience a high rate of hate crime and constantly suffer violent treatment at the hands of the police. Widespread acceptance needs to be implemented in every sector to provide true liberation for this minority group. Did you know? In 2017, a UK website was used to document crimes committed by trans people, all to emphasize a link between trans and criminality. Conclusion The issue of gender is extremely important, such that when meeting a new person in modern reality, it is one of the first things everyone considers. Even though a person's gender seems uncontrollably predetermined before birth, it should not be a license to force it on an individual. That's because a person's genitals are not enough reason to be affiliated with a particular gender. As we've seen in this summary, the genitalia has two purposes, reproduction and social representation, and these two don't always have to be in sync. Today, not many people understand trans people. This misunderstanding has brought about a great challenge for them and other marginalized groups. From the law to the prison system, trans people are discriminated against. For instance, Imprisoned trans people are regarded as high risk. Some are made to go through inhumane treatments, such as segregation, for weeks, and some are blatantly called liars. Although there are situations where there is a need to distinguish between genuine trans people 
It is not right to conclude that every person is a predator claiming a trans identity. Society should focus on respecting transgender people and their autonomy in determining their gender. After all, just as there are good and bad cis people, there are also good and bad trans people. So society must liberate them socially by giving them freedom over their physical bodies. You can only lie about who you are for so long without going crazy. Ellen Whitlinger Try this. Show love to any trans person around you. Let them know that you accept them and agree that it is okay to be different. If you're struggling with gender identity and expression, find online and offline communities of like-minded people to share your experiences and grow. Trans Lifeline, a wholesome transgender community divested from the police, so its citizens have nothing to fear. The Trevor Project, rich online resource and dedicated social network for trans people and those looking to support them. The Tribe, online forum and live chat for dealing with mental health issues as a trans person.